I'm talking to Waukesha Wonk, and go ahead and, and tell me exactly where you are and what you're up to today. I am in Menominee Falls at the library. I'm at the polling place for Wards 5, 6, and 13. It's a very conservative district. It's Alberta Darlings District. And I'm just observing. Um, I'm serving as an election observer um, for the polls, and also I'm doing live blogging for my blog, Waukesha Wonk. Great. So the people can also go to Waukesha Wonk and see what you're writing today. And your Twitter is Muxie with Moxie. And I, I told folks to go out and look for that, too. So you did you say how many um, folks are out there doing the same thing you're doing, observing? There are um, Right now there are four others. And you, you had an interesting comment when I was calling to just kind of touch base with you. you uh, what, are they um, conservative? I mean, that is a conservative area. Well, when I walked in, I made the assumption that they were all conservatives because they are all older. <laughs> um, but that was a totally incorrect assumption. It turns out one of them is with the Waukesha Dems. She's a friend of Ramona Kitzinger. Uh, the other is with the League of Women Voters. And I believe the others are Democrats as well. So that was an incorrect assumption on my part. Okay. And the other thing, um, you said there was actually a pretty good turnout. Uh, what did you hear about the turnout, or what are you seeing? We're having high turnout. It's, I think it's close to 700 now. The turnout for the Supreme Court race here in this location was 800, and the turnout for the presidential election in 2010, I believe, was 1,000. So it seems like we're probably going to hit somewhere in between those numbers. Okay. But it's been a steady stream, and there are a lot of new voters today as well. Young okay. Vote, a couple of young voters. How do you know that they're new voters? Um, because I can hear them say I'm a new voter. Okay. <laughs> and I see them I see them register, and a lot of them are very excited about it, and the poll workers are very excited that they're voting for the first time as well. Great. Um, how long have you been there today? I'm sorry. How Did long? You, how uh, long? I'm sorry. How long have you been at the at the polls watching? I got here just before noon. Okay. So I've been here I'm about four hours now. And um, you said that it's a conservative area, and I guess like how how do you quantify that? Is it is it by how they voted in past races, or just kind of the signs that you're seeing in the yards? Oh, how they voted in past races. Mm -hmm. um, it's also a wealthier um, area, which is sometimes a good indicator. Okay. And um, the other thing that uh, uh, is everyone copacetic, everything's fine? I think everything's okay. Like I said, we have an exit poll or a election observer who asks questions of people as they're leaving, but he, he's very respectful. Okay. And he, he, as far as I know, he follows all the procedures, the proper procedures. Okay, great. He's with the League of Women Voters, so he knows all the, the laws and, and regulations. Okay. Is this your first time doing this? Uh, well, no, I, I volunteered for the Kloppenberg campaign for the Supreme Court recount in Waukesha. Okay. So this is boring compared to that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then... I thought you said in previous conversation that there was actually a lot of older new voters too. Like not new voters, there's just oh. um a a steady stream of older voters. Oh, okay, sorry. Got it. I got that mixed up. Okay, great. Um well, how are you how are you feeling personally about about this about what's going on today? Are are you um feeling like excited or anxious or confident or all of the above <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm not sure what to think exactly it's, it's it's been a lot leading up to this so I'm just trying to get through it for now <laughs> right and then I'm going to the Sandy Pass victory party later so I'm very excited about that because I'm awesome. hoping she wins awesome um, well she she is uh I, I I personally think that she's an exemplary person to run. Um I'm I'm super biased. Uh <laughs> I, I hope that the 
Um, now, now you, you, um, do you get to experience all the advertisements that are coming out of that race where you live? Are you seeing the TV ads and and getting flyers and things oh, like yeah. that? Yes. In fact, when I'm at the at, at home, I have DVR, so I can see through everything. But when I'm out and about at the gym or or other places where there are TVs, I'm kind of forced to sit through it, and it, it's <laughs> it's hard to take. I just want to yell, that's not true, <laughs> when I see the Alberta Darling anti-Sandy Crash ads. Okay. Well, hopefully, uh, you know, it'll, she'll, I, I'm, I'm rooting for her. I'm, I'm certainly am. And thank you for volunteering to watch and for reporting through. And, uh, I'll just urge everyone again to visit, visit, uh, the blog Waukesha Wonk and I will be retweeting your stuff for you. So thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Okay. Take care. Solidarity. Solidarity. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Carol? Yep. Yep. Are you there, Carol? Yep. Yep. And I will, I'm just trying to.